Hello. Today we're going over October's figure pre-orders. Starting from now, I want to keep these videos a bit shorter, but also cover the same amount of figures, so let's just get into it. They really do like making figures for this show. I don't get the hype, but if you are interested in this figure, goddamn is that a good price for what's essentially like two 1.7 scales for 17.3k. Incredible value for money if they are like as good as you'd expect. So if you're interested, probably not a bad buy. I don't know if I missed this last time or if it was there as well, uh, which is Furyu's Ereshkigal 1.7 scale. I know I talked about Ishtar here, who looks pretty bad. I think Ereshkigal herself looks marginally better. I just don't like it as much compared to the Aniplex one. I think the, the detailing and everything here is a lot better than what I'm seeing in the Furyu one. The only uh, good thing, I guess, is that it comes with the cage, if you're really interested in that, but honestly, I'd go with the Aniplex one if you do have the choice between them, and for that price, I wouldn't even go for it anyway, even if I liked Rush Gull a hell of a lot. A couple of months ago, I talked about the Tanjiro and Nezuko Figure Art Zero. I'm pretty sure they were in the same line as this one. And I said they were like overpriced and they looked bad. This one, on the other hand, I think the effect parts actually look good. It's This one doesn't look as bad as the other ones, but I would still stay away from Bandai and Figure Art Zero figures at like all costs. <laughs> Moving on, we have these three girls from Sword Art Online, Asuna, Sinon, and Leafa. I don't know... There's a few things I don't know. One, I don't know who Eastream is. That's kinda... Never heard of them. Two, why do they keep putting these characters in provocative positions? All of them. Hello, Leafa. Look. Really? Hello? I can't... <sighs> Let me look up who Eastream is. Okay, found something. Shibuya Scramble Figure is a high-quality figure brand that focuses on the feelings of scale and vivacity. Anyway, when you see Eastream, Shibuya Scramble Figure is a child company that makes figures, I guess. I think the faces look nice, at the very least. I just... I don't like that if you want a 1-4 scale, you're either stuck with freeing and their bunnies, or you get this. And it's like, why can't we just have a one fourth scale that isn't like, like this? You know what I mean? Like, why can't it just be their normal outfit or something? Please, like, they made that one fourth scale saber that looks really cool. That one, really well done. I love it. They've done one with Miku as well. But like, those are the only two characters that come to mind that actually have one fourth scale figures their actual normal outfit or them just like just not sitting there with no clothes on pretty much it's it's honestly ridiculous is it wrong for me to expect more from like figure companies or otaku i guess it's otaku's fault because they keep buying them anyway for some reason the asana one is slightly more expensive i don't know why but you know, if you're into the bunny figures, but you don't want them to be in bunnies anymore, then I guess these are a good alternative. How many Mikus are we gonna get this month? The outfit on this one is really weird. She kind of looks like an alien. And I don't know if that's the vibe they were going for, but that's definitely what it looks like to me. And I don't know how I feel about that. I think I kind of hate it. She just looks so strange to me. I feel like there's so many better Miku options, just because this one looks slightly weird, but if it is your thing, meh. This figure is really cool. I love the concept of it. The only thing that I'm not liking is the base, just being this green to white gradient canvas. Other than that, though, I love the detail that GSE has put in. I'm sure that it will end up pretty close to this actual prototype. Their quality is generally pretty good. Aerie already has a lot of good figures. The cherry on top is that she's not too expensive. She's 14k, which is totally fine considering how expensive figures can get right now. Not bad, not bad at all. Here is the Megumi one, if you hadn't seen it. 
I think pre-order's already closed though. It does have the same sort of canvas base, but I think it works a lot better in this one. You win some, you lose some, I guess. So I'm sure that Ryder had a Nando before, right? Surely. Either way, this one is called Heaven's Feel Movie Rider, which leads me to believe that it is different anyway. It's honestly kind of boring for a Fate Nendo, and maybe that's just down to Rider being kind of boring. I guess the price does reflect how like basic she is, but eh. Do I even want to know why this furry lolly has an eggplant on the base? I don't think I want to know. Does look kind of cute though. If you watch my other pre-order videos, you probably know that I always bash on Mega House for being very low quality for the amount they're charging for their figures. I may have to make an exception here because this one does look pretty damn cool. What is here in the prototype? I think it might be something that Mega House can pull off. I will say, just take a look at how basic Inata looks. Doesn't look horrifically bad, so I'll give them a pass on this one. Oh, why? Yeah, what the hell? Why is her leg so long? What the hell? I don't know if that's like the figure being wrong, or if it's Code Geass character designs just being spaghetti people. Anyway, this is Callan by Mega House, and 1-8 scale for 14k is just... Hell no. Hello, it's Necropara time. Look how cute Maple is. Wow. That angle kind of reveals everything. It's one of those figures where it only works from, like, one angle. Oh man, at least they have the detailing with the little cat paw in the shoe. That's so cute. Also, for some reason, her tail looks more like a dog. I'm not sure why. This one is by Union Creative for 17k, and I'm assuming it's sort of 1-7 scale, just judging by the height. Uh, so it's kind of expensive. I wouldn't be jumping on it at all. The only caveat to that is that this is... I haven't looked it up, but this is probably the only figure of Maple you're going to get that's like sort of high quality, sort of like one at least 1-7 scale, where she's wearing her cafe uniform. Uh, so I think this could get sales just based on that, and not based on like how much you should actually be paying for this figure, which is not 17k in my opinion. This kind of looks like the CGI guts that everyone hates. Here is a Idolmaster figure by Wing. I'm not really feeling this one as much as I have previous Idolmaster figures. It's hard to say why. The outfit itself looks fine. The detailing I think they'll be doing on these shorts is really nice. It's the, the way it like actually looks like denim. I don't super dislike it. I just think it looks off and I don't know why and it, it kind of bothers me. Everyone's talking about Genshin Impact but any love for Hawkeye Impact? I never played any of them but this figure looks kind of insane. Just looking at this sword then you can add more swords to the back of it and like have that huge bigger sword which is so cool look at that yes oh yeah i love huge swords it even comes with its own little <laughs> base piece it's kind of cute if this isn't like the cutest thing you've ever seen i don't know what is finally mega house has done something right this is so adorable i don't think anyone else looks as cute as uh Shinobu though. I love it. I love it so much. When's she getting a Nendo? Here comes Idolmaster with one of the most uninspired character designs I've seen in a while. I don't get why they force Racing Queen stuff onto fake characters and Miku so much. And now Idolmaster's doing it. They've probably been doing it long before this, but this is the first one I've really realized. I just don't get it. I don't get the hype. It doesn't make sense. I don't care. At least the flag doesn't look terrible like I've seen before in some other ones. This one actually looks like it's blowing in the wind. But for the figure itself, I couldn't care any less. I thought I talked about this one before, but maybe I was just looking at it a few weeks ago instead. Is this from like some mobile game that's like a crossover of anime characters or something? She kind of looks like a ladybug. 
I don't know if that's intentional. It probably isn't. <laughs> but I do think this bee looking kind of cute. There's a lot of detailing here, like especially in and around this area. A lot of those little gold things. I think she's from Is the Order a Rabbit, but I might be completely wrong with that. I thought I'd looked at this before, but I guess not. I have a lot of issues with it. I don't know why Philo needs to sit like this. Philo is precious and should be kept pure. This uh, sandwich she's eating looks pretty terrible. Her hands also don't like fit it very well. It doesn't look like her hands are for sandwich eating, which is concerning. Also, how is she going to fit that huge sandwich in that small little mouth? I don't know. A lot of things about this just look off. They could have at least thought of something better than this for a Philo figure. Like, ooh, just have her standing there looking cute. Why does she have to be sitting here eating a sandwich? I don't know. Who wants to buy that? I don't get it. I do not understand. Katakawa, please tell me who this is for. I don't... And then we have another Katie collection figure which is exclusive to Ami Ami for some reason, and I don't know why this one in particular is, uh, which is Mysterious Heroine, double X, double cross, XX. I don't know what the official name is. I really don't care about Mysterious Heroine. There's not a whole lot of detail on Mysterious Heroine herself. <laughs> yeah, I just don't, I'm just not really feeling it. The best part about this is the weapon, and then the weapon is like, right at the back of the figure, so displaying it normally you couldn't even really see it. These is the Order of Rabbit figures are getting re-released. I talked about this one a month or two ago. This is the one that I said was worth buying because this one looks good. I still don't know why she has a gun. I still haven't watched the series, but I think this one is still cute. The other two, I don't know. There's the there's this one and then there's this girl who I think I thought was the other girl in that other figure who I think now are completely separate characters. So I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know where the show name ends and where the character name starts. It's a huge guessing game with these light novel names. I don't know. It's like a whole paragraph up here. Something about this that just doesn't feel right to me. It might be the legs. It might be the pose. It looks okay. Does it look 19k okay? I don't think so. I think there's too much nothing going on from like paintwork and detailing side of things that it's really not worth the 19k. Here is an original Mecha Musume girl thing. It kind of looks very near Automata. And then at the same time, kind of super generic. Ooh, it's a pre-painted garage kit, which is very interesting. It says sculptor and paintwork, both by Mumu. So I assume this is, like, by one person. This is kind of interesting. I really don't like Nendoroid dolls. But this one's kind of cute. It doesn't look like a Nendo at all. I guess that's my issue with them. I feel like I've seen this before. It's just like, something about it, it must be so similar to another figure that I'm just like, my brain isn't working. This honestly just looks kind of weird, this whole pose. Like, in mid -air. Not really feeling it. Finally, Darkness is getting a figure that I don't think Aqua has yet. Pretty alright. I don't like the face so much, but I think the kimono design is really nice. I think it makes itself very distinct compared to other kimono figures, which is a positive. The downside is it's 18k, so whether you want to drop that much on darkness is kind of up to you, but given her, I assume, sort of limited options in figures compared to the other two girls, it seems alright to me. Okay, I went on that whole thing before about that girl not being part of that series, but I, I'm sure she is. This one says Coco. This one says Coco. I'm sure that's her name. She must be that other girl that I was saying about, and she's from Is the Order Rabbit. I, I'm not going insane. The base being like this clear effect part just seems kind of strange. I haven't really seen anything 
in this sort of style before. It it kind of looks like um like glass. I think the colors kind of clash with both of the girls, especially because it's see through and has that sort of different effect. Like in this case, I would have really liked it if they painted it using like a matte coat just to like dull out that green a bit, since both uh, Coco and Chino are sort of pastel, and then this is kind of just too vibrant, in my opinion. I've never seen Hirashi. I probably should. This figure looks really boring though. Surely I'm not the only one seeing how weird this looks where her legs are facing one way. And then her torso is facing another way. And then her head is facing another way. Uh, so yeah, it's like hard pass. Get over the fact that he's a 1-8 scale for 18k and just appreciate like how nice this looks. I do like this, I just have no idea what it is. This is so low effort. There's, she, there's like nothing to it. You can get so many better figures of Anne that are actually Anne. <laughs> is your monthly scheduled creepy doll look at? I, oh god, why? I don't understand. Apparently this is from- there's a Sailor Moon one. Oh. This doesn't even look like Sailor Moon. Let alone is it cute. Who's buying these things? Who? It's cursed. Absolutely cursed. It's chocolate and vanilla, but they're lollies. I mean kittens. I think these figures would be totally fine. Wait, is this cast off? No. Say it ain't so. What is this? What is this? This is very concerning. They're kittens. Hello? They're like three months old. I don't understand why they didn't make the base actually cake. Because it's definitely supposed to be a piece of cake. And it's definitely not cake. Why does it have to be like this? Why Japan? Why? It really seems like an idol master month at this point. What's interesting is this dress skirt thing, where it's got like this one cutout part. Something about the face bothers me. I think it's the small mouth. And like, no nose. Let's go through a batch of Nendos real quick. This little Kyubei is like, so cute. She seems okay. But mainly just for the little Kyubei. Then we got this lady. I don't like her face. She seems very like, mmm. Why are you doing this? Why are you so you be be goody batty magical girl? Buh, 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 buh. It's kind of boring. Other than she comes with five spears. Hey guys, we couldn't think of anything. Let's just give her more. <laughs> That's all it is. And because there's five of them, she's like six k. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's so terrible. Uh, I hope people don't get sucked into buying that because it really seems like she comes with a whole lot of nothing. What is wrong? with Mari's arm here. Yeah. It's just way too long. Seems way longer than any other Nendo arm that I can think of. Something about that doesn't seem right. Here's another one of the girls from Quintessential Quintuplets. At the very least, she's cheap, but doesn't really do much. She kind of just stands there. I think there's no accessories unless you count the glasses. And then all she comes with, with is like TikTok arms. <laughs> no, thank you. Now, I don't know if this is a re release or did they actually put out pre orders for Akita Alter before Akita? Looks pretty fun. I guess what you can really do with her is sword fights and whatever. So, if you're into that, there she is in both forms. I'd say it's probably worth going for the. Ascension version. With that other sword and the uh, coat, especially. I really like the coat. But I do still really like the whole aesthetic of this line, even if the figures themselves don't look that great. I'm especially concerned about Mari's body. <laughs> like, it just goes in so far. Like, the hourglass is too thin. If the proportions were more human, I think I'd really like this whole thing, especially the outfit I think is really nice. Seems like they kind of just missed the mark with these, because all of them just look 
a tad bit off to me, which is a shame, especially because they're doing two different colored versions. It seems like they're going all in. Got another bunch of Nendos coming up. So we've got this one. I don't even care who this is. Uh, I guess the most interesting part of this, what the hell, is um, it's by Fine Clover, who I've never heard of. Uh, but they're doing an endo for some reason, which, you know, better track record than Aquamarine at this point. Rip Aquamarine. And basically 5k for this seems very high. Because, like, all she does is that salute. And then it comes with the, like, spaceship thing, and then that uh, XD meme thing. That's, like, that should be under 4k uh no no idea who this is it's looks like some edgy boy kind of cute though uh i don't know if this guy's from the same thing or not i would assume not kind of looks creepy as hell oh but this little lady he's cute more spider-man but at least this one is not tom holland he looks like every other spider-man nendo except depressed uh, a big surprise was this Crash Bandicoot Nendo that got announced. I don't think they'd revealed it before this. It's a, it's another one of those cases where they're saying it's a Nendoroid, but it's totally not. He's hella expensive. I, re I wonder if there's, like, Crash fans that will pay that much for a, like, tiny figure like this. Now, this is probably my favorite JoJo's Nendo. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with the cross-dressing woman face, which would have been hilarious because that's like, that might be like one of the most iconic parts of Battle Tendency. Even though I like this one the most, I still don't really like the Jojo Nendos very much. The funniest thing is I was complaining that this figure didn't exist at the start of this video. And I'm like, where are the 1-4 scales that have the characters in their actual outfits? But it exists. It actually exists, and it's still under the B-Style brand, which is kind of weird. It exists. I'm happy. I'm surprised. I probably should have checked this before I went on my rant, but it's there. It looks fine. She could have been holding the sword higher, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna buy it. I don't like Asuna, but I'm just happy that a one-foot scale like this exists. Another one. Finally. Now we're on to the last few figures that just went up for pre-order a few days ago. First is Toka, Chinese dress version. Why does this exist? It doesn't even look like Toka anymore. This face does not look like her. Did the anime get a different art style in season 3? I was gonna complain, like why? where is the Kurumi one, but it exists. It's a no from me, dog. Mmm, why did why, why do people like snake ladies? It's so weird. I hate it. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate snakes. I hate snake girls. It's, everything is wrong with this. Maybe the worst part is like her face as well is just so creepy. It looks like she's gonna cut you up and like kill you and feed you to the other baby snakes. I don't. Mmm. Mm, I hate it. I hate it so much. Hey, Mickey Mouse. Well, hey, it's me, Mickey Mouse. And then finally, I have no idea what this is. I think this is a new show that's airing. She looks kind of interesting. I don't know how I feel about the pose. I think this wild leg just looks kind of weird to me. Wow. Why is she so cheap? Being 11k for a 1 7 scale kind of changes everything. I feel like I'm a lot more lenient when something's this cheap for this size. And I trust GSC to make it look good. I think more than 7 scales that look like this effort-wise, it should be this price. Anyway, it looks kind of cute. Anyway, that's all the figures I'm going over for October. Let me know down in the comments which of these figures you like and which ones you're pre-ordering for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, tell a friend, and subscribe for more anime figure content. This has been the Ando Experience, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.